Week two, end of the week. You already made it. So, I'm hoping you guys drilled out your cardio this morning. And now, we're gonna kill the workout and then finally wrap it up with, uh, oh, my favorite, calves and abs. And then another session of cardio. So, not so bad. Not a bad way to spend the end of the week. So today we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off with some pull-ups. Uh, the reason why I put pull-ups in this day was to kind of test how beat up my body would be and where my strength would lie at. So what we're aiming here is for three sets to 10, and uh, ooh, let's get this started. Make sure you show my feet so they don't think I'm standing on something, you know? <laughs> here we go. Feels good. Feels good. So now that we're done with pull-ups and back's getting a little nice pump, lats are feeling pretty good. I like to do pretty much rope pull-downs. I like to bring the rope out here and kick back all the way in, stretch the lat out. So now that we finished pull-ups and rope pull-downs, uh, I'm gonna jump into single arm dumbbell rows. Uh, you know, I suffer from lack of back. It's, it's a real disease. Don't look it up. It's embarrassing. I'm just glad I can talk about it now. But no, the reason why I like these movements is because it gives you a real nice stretch on the back. And then if you obviously control the weight and come up, it's a great squeeze. We're going into the standing machine rows now. And uh, it's only week two, so I don't think I'm, uh, I don't think I'm privileged enough to be sitting or strong enough. So, just gonna get up on the machine. I actually gotta get up on my tippy toes in this one to reach. I'm gonna grab up here. Just... So you see, just like I see the cable rope, you'd go all the way in for the stretch and pull back. Here, you're holding yourself, getting that stretch. Widening out all this, putting deodorant all the way down here. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Keeping the deodorant companies in business. Next, dumbbell pullovers. I know what you're thinking. Is that a 50? Yeah, it is. I know a lot of you probably seen multiple trainers. The one thing I just never got was I would watch these trainers and these guys would pop off like, all right, cool, we're gonna hit bench. Let's go, three plates. And crushing, I'm like, I mean, is this an intermediate trainer? Like, where, where does this trainer start, you know? We're gonna go ahead and jump into abs and calves, you know? That's what's next. And uh, keep in mind, like I said last time, do it however it makes you comfortable. If you know at the end of the workout, you're gonna be beat, do the calves and abs in the beginning. Week two, day five, final lift day. Finishing it up with abs. I have to give them the gut check. That's what it is. 
Let's see where it's at. Oh my god. Look at that. There's nothing on there. Oh my god. Just wait until that belly is shaved. It's coming in. It's coming in. So slowly but surely it's building. And again, the diet's working. Sometimes it's mouth full of pain. But you know, it's not about how good the food tastes, it's just what it does for you. Also, a big reminder, you guys, stay tuned. We made it a week three, and now everything's gonna switch. Muscle groups, workouts, so it's time to change the game a little bit. We're gonna keep those sorenesses coming and fresh. So, I better see you here, week three.